Before we pray, write your first name in the phrase, I can do all things through him who strengthens me in the comments. When I start praying, I want you to repeat this prayer with me. Pray with words or mentally. These three prayers will bless you greatly. Amen? Pray with me, believing that the Lord will bring help, deliverance, prosperity, and victory to you. Let's pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling. No harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Father, under these three powerful prayers, I want to declare every kind of blessing. May the blessings of Psalm 23 be upon the lives of your children. Prosperity, abundance, change of scenario, a time of honor. Also, I ask you, Father, that all blessings, the promises of protection from Psalm 91, be upon the lives of your children. May every snare be cut, May every arrow be broken. May your children not be harmed, but be in your hiding place under your wings. May all the blessings of Psalm 121 be upon their lives. Guard them, Lord, do not let them fall nor stumble. May the blessing of the Lord rest upon the lives of all your children who are receiving this prayer and all who enter here at any moment. I declare blessing and victory in the name of the Lord Jesus. Say, I receive, I take possession. Close your eyes, bow your head, and pray with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory, today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Glory to God.